Hi, everyone. Welcome to the live uh, weekly Holy Face of Jesus prayer meeting offered every week in reparation for the breaking of the first three commandments and for all of your intentions. Um, we've been doing this since I think around March of 2018 uh, on a weekly basis every Tuesday just after 3.30 p.m. Irish time. And you're almost welcome. And we're um, occasionally it's on a Thursday if there's ever... Um, you know, some reason that uh, we can't do it on the Tuesday. That's the alternative uh, day, usually again, just after 3.30 p.m. But uh, we've been doing this, as I say, since um, early 2018, and uh, we've kept this going. Um, and we always ask people to uh, like, follow, hit subscribe and share, uh, whichever platform you're on, be it um you know, the Facebook or the YouTube feed, um, if you wouldn't mind doing that, that would be wonderful because we are about trying to spread the devotion and spreading the message. And the message, of course, is to make reparation for the breaking of the first three commandments and for all of your intentions. And um, we have here VR. Please pray, pray for my condition and, and birth. And my daughter has COVID at the moment. So we pray for all who have COVID at the moment. Um, I understand that there there are um, there's an uptick or an upsurge of it, at least in Ireland. And uh, I don't know what it's like wherever you are in the world. But we do pray for anyone who's sick at this time in any way, be it cancer, mental health, whatever. And um, as I say, the, the devotion is about reparation for the breaking of the first three commandments. Um, I, I sort of... Um, dub it or equip that it's a divine reset rather than a great reset in that we are um, about putting um, God first so um, the breaking of the first three commandments involve atheism or idolatry um, which can be the cult of the self putting someone something or some activity before God blasphemy not just the abuse of the holy name but disrespect for all things sacred so God his church and his church's teachings and profaning the sabbath and the holy days so either non-worship or a la carte worship on one's own term and uh, perhaps uh, receiving the Blessed Sacrament for Holy Communion, um, not uh, with the right dispositions. Um, and so we come in reparation for that and for any um, even sacrilege of the Most Blessed Sacrament, uh, we come in reparation for that. And we claim the promises, which are, um, as I summarise them anyway, all the affairs of the households will be looked after on miracles, conversion, and suppression of evil, defense of the soul at the moment of death and a special radiance of the soul in heaven and glory. So uh, what's not to like about that? So we will um, we will um, be claiming those promises, but we keep before us at all times uh, reparation for the breaking of the first three commandments. And that's our primary focus. So um, I'm just going to um, get myself um, uh into position here just to see some of your intentions so uh, we have Celia Bassic, holy face of Jesus have mercy on us protect us from any sickness and harm and um, Clara God bless all today please include baby Ambrose discharged from hospital delayed due to problems breathing so we pray for baby Ambrose and that he will be okay and Jackie Shaw for those I've been told about who have died recently including my daughter's friend Anna and for their families um, that's from Jackie thanks Jackie and Tom Storty, urgent personal intentions for the intentions of all those on this thread. And Sharon Preston, prayers for my special intentions, please. God bless you all. So thank you all. Um, I'm just going to start. I'm going to start with the Divine Mercy. So um, as I mentioned, uh, we started uh, introducing the Divine Mercy. And we pray for anyone who's dying at this time, especially unprepared or unreconciled with God, themselves or others. And we pray um, for the grace of a happy death for ourselves as well and our loved ones. Why not? Um, you know, death and taxes are inevitable, so we we can pray for um without being too uh, facetious actually uh, or flippant, um we should pray for the grace of a happy death for ourselves and our loved ones as well. So let's start with the divine mercy in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. So you expired, Lord Jesus, but the source of life gushed forth for souls, and the ocean of mercy opened up for the whole world. O font of life, unfathomable divine mercy, envelop the whole world and empty yourself out upon us. O blood and water which gush forth from the heart of Jesus as a font of mercy for us, I trust in you. O blood and water which gush forth from the heart of Jesus as a font of mercy for us, I trust in you. O blood and water which gush forth from the heart of Jesus as a font of mercy for us, I trust in you. Jesus, I trust in you. Jesus, I trust in you. Jesus, I trust in you. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. 
Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. I believe in God, the Father, the Almighty, creator of heaven and earth and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord who was conceived by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father, the Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body and life everlasting. Amen. Eternal Father, we offer you the body, blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of a sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of a sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of a sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of a sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of a sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of a sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of a sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of a sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of a sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of a sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, we offer you the body, blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of a sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of a sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of a sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of a sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of a sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of a sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of a sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of a sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of a sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of a sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, we offer you the body, blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of a sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of a sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of a sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of a sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of a sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of a sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of a sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of a sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of a sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of a sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, we offer you the body, blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of a sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of a sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of a sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of a sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of a sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of a sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of a sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of a sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of a sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of a sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. 
Eternal Father, we offer you the body, blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world, for the sake of a sorrowful passion of mercy on us and on the whole world, for the sake of a sorrowful passion of mercy on us and on the whole world, for the sake of a sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world, for the sake of a sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world, for the sake of a sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world, for the sake of a sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world, for the sake of a sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world, for the sake of a sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world, for the sake of a sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world, for the sake of a sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Jesus, I trust in you. Jesus, I trust in you. Jesus, I trust in you. God, our Father, in whom mercy is endless and the treasury of compassion inexhaustible, look kindly on us and increase your mercy in us that in difficult moments we might not despair nor become despondent, but with great confidence submit ourselves to your holy will, which is love and mercy itself. O incomprehensible and limitless mercy divine, who can extol and adore you worthily? Who can? So that's the beautiful Divine Mercy Chaplet of St. Faustina that we pray every week, praying always for those who are dying um, across this week, because we know that people listen back and pray these prayers throughout the week if they can't be live with us, which is great. It means that... Um, you know, every day I'm sure there's somebody praying the prayers and, um, you know, uh, praying for the dying um, each day of the week. So um, we pray for the dying. We pray for the grace of a happy death ourselves, that we would die in friendship with God, with the sacraments, please God, and also our loved ones. Um, and um, that's that's um, the promise of Saint Faust of our Lord Saint Faustina that He would not stand as a just judge, but as a merciful Savior. Um, when these prayers are prayed, the Divine Mercy prayers are prayed in the presence of the dying. And that's why we do it, especially for those who are dying alone or unexpectedly or um, have rejected God or are not at peace with God or others. And um, they need the grace of our prayers. Um, so I'm just going to give a shout out to a few more. Um, so let's have a look here. Carol Rourke for all the poor souls in purgatory. James Roy Templin III and Ophelia Cardona. Um, I'm not going to be able to read that, Ophelia, but I, I bring it to you, uh, Lord, whatever Ophelia is praying for there. Um, we ask you to look after it. And um, Amzi Vicente for the overturning of Roe versus Way, that the Lord would grant our justices the strength, wisdom and courage to do what is morally and ethically right and that they be kept safe. Amen to that, Amzi. And uh, for all our intentions and the attentions of Janet, Mariel, uh, Gabby, Benjamin, Tang, Anjali, Ariel, JJ, Maravi, Carol, Jojo, Georgina, Dina, Deng, Bang, Minnie, uh, that's uh, Blassie, is it? And Judy. So that's Jesus, uh, we trust in you. And I'll just go back here. Have mercy on us, protect us from all harm. Praying for the conversion of my family and my special intentions. And Lubica Galeko, lovely to have you with us. Hi, hi everyone in the group. Um, greetings from Croatia. Lovely. And uh, over here on the other feed, um, I'll just pull it up. Um, so hello from Indiana. I'll keep my petitions in my heart. Uh, they're too long, but God knows them. That's um, fine, Amelia. God does know them. And Sharon McGonagall praying that Justin. Sorry, I'll just try and pull that up again. Um, that just um, disappeared on me. Justin and all who feel they have no worth will receive an overflowing infilling of God's infinite love and mercy. That's beautiful, Sharon. I'm praying for my friend's son, Kenneth Tan. That This is Connie in New Zealand. Um, uh, Kenneth Tan, who suddenly died of cancer of the throat yesterday, the 21st of June. Uh, may God rest his soul. Amen. Uh, indeed, may an eternal rest grant to all the holy souls in purgatory. And may perpetual light shine upon them all. And may they rest in peace. And uh, Raymond uh, Viado for the eternal repose of the soul of uh, Leticia Villarama. And Jenny Grace Calame Calas praying with us. Uh, Jackie saying for Lucy, my friend's daughter, getting married today after a long time of ill health. Oh, well, may she be very blessed and we pray for her health. 
Frank from Southern Carol California. Um, thanks for giving us a shout out from there. Uh, Carol and Angela Mitra for my son's success in his engineering that he may get a good job and Diana Lucas peace in the Ukraine indeed and in this world and I'd like to pray for um, different health intentions for people that have been recommended to me so I'd like to pray for um, a lady Angela who is a young mother of four young kids and she has terminal cancer it's um, riddled throughout the body um, and so we're going to pray for a miracle for Angela. I'd like to pray for another uh, lady with Louise who is getting um, a provisional diagnosis of possible motor neuron disease um, because of loss of voice and um, difficulty swallowing. And, and, and she's young. She's fostering young baby and four year old and has her own um, daughter um, with her husband. So. Um, just for and and a couple of other uh, health intentions for um, we pray for miraculous healings as well and where there there isn't clarity in illnesses Lord that people would get clarity and healing either conventionally or miraculously why not um, we ask this in Jesus's name um, and um, also praying for uh, as we do every week Elizabeth Manning who has many years disease and vertigo, um, tinnitus, very, very difficult. And also Lourdes Rebelo, myelomalacia of the spine, and she always says that I could walk again. Um, so we take so much for granted. So uh, we pray for miracles of healing for Elizabeth and Lourdes and any of the sick. Um, so some babies were mentioned there. Um, there was a little baby, Riley. Let me just pull this up, if I can go back. Um, sorry, I hope I can get this back. Uh, uh, so there was baby Ambrose, but then also Sharon was saying baby Riley, nine months old, received a liver transplant last month. God love him. And uh, yeah, so there's a lot, um, a lot of uh, babies to pray for as well during this this prayer meeting uh, for their health. And thank you, Connie, praying for the protection of the organizer of the weekly beautiful devotion to the Holy Face. And I will ask for your prayers during this prayer meeting. I'll be giving a talk. I gave a talk um, last night in a, a little... Um, church in um in tipperary and um you know the song it's a long way to tipperary the old war song and uh, well i'm in tipperary and i'm giving a talk tonight in um nina and i'll ask for your prayers for uh, the success of that and the protection of that and there's there's a spiritual battle whenever whenever you, there's something like this going on and there is indeed um, one going on so um, i'm going to ask you to pray for prayers of uh, healing and deliverance for me too if you don't mind, during this prayer meeting, I'd be most grateful. And that we will um, successfully get a Holy Face prayer meeting going um, in in both places um, that the talks happened in. That would be really great. Um, so um, thanks, everybody. I'm going to go into the Holy Face prayers. Um, just to give a shout out to our Linda, sorry, for the end of abortion and coronavirus. I'm praying for my aunt, granddaughter, as is Sean daughter siblings cousins friends for good health their intentions safety from harm and calamities and for the spread of the devotion and angela for my son's current situation with decisions being made today help them be god's will for another son's situation to be miraculously resolved oh sugar the thing is moving too fast for me to nearly read it angela but i, I put all the rest of that with god and um prayers of healing and deliverance for you thanks jackie and carol Rourke. praying for mary rose norton carlo robert is that uh, Mihalich and Martin Nyland, Father Martin Nyland, Father Donald Calloway, Antonio, Daniel, Pedro, all the prayer groups who pray to our Blessed Mother. Amen. That's brilliant, Carol. Thank you. And um, so let's um, let's go into some prayer. We'll do the Holy Face prayers. And remember that when we do the Holy Face prayers, St. Paul said pray for your leaders. And um, so I, I try and do that when I'm doing the Holy Face prayers. I always pray for the Pope and the future of the papacy. We think of Pope Francis is... I'm not sure if it's been corroborated or if it's just a rumour mill that he is going to be stepping down. I haven't heard if it's an official um, statement or if it's just a rumour at this point. But either way, we're praying for him. We're praying for Pope Emeritus Benedict XVI and we're praying for always, we always pray the Pope, the future of the papacy. We absolutely have to do that. And for the people around him, people, the cardinals and the curia. They would be good and holy men, inspired and, and infilled with the Holy Spirit like the apostles at Pentecost. Um, what's not to like in praying for that. It can only bring about the good. Um, I pray for that whole process, the synod on synodality, that it will only do the Lord's will um, and the Holy Spirit's um, infilling will, will permeate it um, and saturate it only and that it won't be hijacked either. Um, 
so for for real leadership and discernment and courage in our hierarchy but i i pray for our political leaders um be they local national or international you know un world economic forum eu pray for conversions of hearts um, pauline conversions if necessary damascene conversions road to damascus stuff why not saul became paul nothing's impossible to god so it doesn't matter who however unlikely or even somebody who might have been uh, at odds or in, in complete opposition or enmity with church teaching or whatever uh, you know the lord chooses who he chooses so we pray for that and um i'm praying for leaders um in in um in ireland um in uh, across the different areas of influence obviously politics i'm praying for uh, leaders to be, be raised up and i i'm sure we can pray that for all of our countries for that for true leaders to be raised up who um will will be operating in the power of the holy spirit for what god wants for each country um in his will amen and we pray for judges please um we pray for uh, those in the entertainment inv industry, influencers that have so much um, influence with especially young people. Um, we pray for uh, journalists, editors in newsrooms, those in charge of the news corporations at the very top, those who are setting trends and agendas behind the scenes. Um, we pray for conversions, one and all, um, and doctors, nurses, medics, um, and anyone involved in the abortion and, uh, industry or assisted suicide and euthanasia for conversions that they would be able to come out of those industries and that they will be faith-filled witnesses to life and uh, we pray that for all of our countries in Jesus' name but we continue primarily to keep the mandate of making reparation for the breaking of the first three commandments um, and for all your intentions so i'm going to start on our hli ireland booklet on page nine and um, we're halfway down the page um, and this is the introductory prayer so you're very welcome to join in if you have that booklet or if you want to download the prayers go to theholyface.com forward slash booklets that's the website uh, www.theholyface.com forward slash booklets and if you download not the novena booklet but the other booklet the general one that has the prayers that we're just about to say now if you want to follow along or print off and share so the introductory prayer Dear Lord, through the sorrowful and immaculate heart of Mary, we offer you these prayers in reparation for the sins which offend God the most in these modern times, the sins of blasphemy and the profanation of Sundays and your holy days of obligation. And a prayer to offer the holy face of Jesus to God the Father to appease his justice and to draw down mercy upon us. And we include our own intentions. Almighty and eternal Father, since it has pleased our divine Saviour to reveal to mankind in modern times the power residing in his holy face, we now avail ourselves of this treasure in our great need. Since our Saviour himself promised that by offering to you the holy face disfigured in the Passion, we can procure the settlement of all the affairs of our household, and that nothing whatsoever will be refused to us, we now come before your throne. Eternal Father, turn away your angry gaze from our guilty people, whose face has become unsightly in your eyes. Look instead upon the face of your beloved Son, for this is the face of him in whom you are well pleased. We now offer you his holy face covered with blood, sweat, dust, spittle and shame, in reparation for the worst crimes of our age, which are atheism, blasphemy, and the desecration of your holy days. We thus hope to appease your anger justly provoked against us, the all-merciful Advocate opens his mouth to plead our cause. Listen to his cries, behold his tears, O God, and through the merits of his holy face, hearken to him when he intercedes for us, poor miserable sinners. Amen. So um, we're now moving on to the beautiful litany of the holy face. And uh, again, we keep before us reparation for the breaking of the first three commandments in our own lives, our loved ones in our countries. Reparation for all the blasphemy, all the abuse of the holy name. It's such an offence to God. People don't realize it, but it actually is, you know, it ranks up there in the commandments as, you know, the most important commandment to keep, keeping holy the the, the holy name. And yet it's abused so much. So we come to apologize for that, Lord, and to attempt to stand in the breach for the abuse of your um, your holy name, which is literally holding us in being. Uh, St. Paul said um, the, that uh, at the name of Jesus, every knee will bow and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. Um, so let's go into the litany of the Holy Face. And we pray together, I salute thee, I adore thee, and I love thee, O adorable face of Jesus, my beloved, noble seal of the divinity, 
outraged anew by blasphemers, I offer thee, through the heart of thy blessed mother, the worship of all the angels and saints, most humbly beseeching thee to repair and renew in me and in all men thine image disfigured by sin. And the response is, have mercy on us. O adorable, sorry, o adorable face, which was adored with profound respect by Mary and Joseph, when they saw thee for the first time, have mercy on us. O adorable face, which ravished with joy in the stable of Bethlehem, the angels, the shepherds, and the magi, have mercy on us. O adorable face, which transpierced with the dart of love in the temple, the saintly old man Simeon and the prophetess Anna, have mercy on us. O adorable face, which filled with admiration the doctors of the law, when thou appeared in the temple at the age of twelve years, have mercy on us. O adorable face, which possesses beauty always ancient and always new, have mercy on us. O adorable face, which is the masterpiece of the Holy Ghost, in which the Eternal Father is well pleased, have mercy on us. O adorable face, which is the ineffable mirror of the divine perfections, have mercy on us. And we pray together, O adorable face of Jesus, which was so mercifully bowed down on the cross on the day of thy passion for the salvation of the world, once more today in pity bend down towards us, poor sinners, cast upon us a glance of compassion and give us thy peace. O adorable face, which became brilliant like the sun and radiant with glory on the mountain of Tabor, have mercy on us. O adorable face, which wept and was troubled at the tomb of Lazarus, have mercy on us. O adorable face, which was rendered sad at the sight of Jerusalem and shed tears on that ungrateful city, have mercy on us. O adorable face, which was bowed down to the ground in the Garden of Olives and covered with confusion for our sins, have mercy on us. O adorable face, which was covered with the sweat of blood, have mercy on us. O adorable face, which was struck by a vile servant, covered with a veil of shame and profaned by the sacrilegious hands of thine en enemies, have mercy on us. O adorable face, which by its divine glance wounded the heart of St. Peter with the dart of sorrow and love, have mercy on us. And we pray together. Be merciful to us, O my God. Do not reject our prayers when, in the midst of our afflictions, we call upon thy holy name and seek with love and confidence thine adorable face. O adorable face, which was washed and anointed by Mary and the holy women and covered with a shroud, have mercy on us. O adorable face, which was all resplendent with glory and beauty on the day of the resurrection, have mercy on us. O adorable face, which is hidden in the Eucharist, have mercy on us. O adorable face, which will appear at the end of time in the clouds with great power and great majesty, have mercy on us. O adorable face, which will make sinners tremble, have mercy on us. O adorable face, which will fill the just with joy for all eternity, have mercy on us. O adorable face, which merits all our reverence, our homage and our adoration, have mercy on us. And we pray three times together. O Lord, show us thy face and we shall be saved. O Lord, show us thy face and we shall be saved. O Lord, show us thy face and we shall be saved. So we now pray the beautiful prayer of St. Therese of the Child Jesus to the Holy Face that she composed herself. And remember, this saint went through the dark night of the soul. So she understands, um, you know, profound depression and um, a Carmelite nun told me actually that she was tempted to suicide herself um, she actually you know the Lord allowed her to be really tempted in the extreme uh, it may surprise people to hear that but um, you know she just had a sense of a wall that her whole life was meaningless that there was no nothing after death that the whole thing had been pointless um, just utter desolation and emptiness so I think she's a wonderful saint to pray to for those who are suffering mental ill health in any way um i'd like to pray for a, a guy called brian i know who is that he will get um the help he needs and um uh, get the stabilized stability of mood that he needs um and help and also just for anyone who's feeling suicidal or despairing um or has made a plan actually 
um, I've said before, um, there's a book called um, St. Therese, the Irish Connection. St. Therese, the Irish Connection. I've nothing to do with the authors. In fact, one is deceased, Colm. Um, I think is it Colm Kenny? I, I hope I have that name right. Uh, Una O'Hagan and Colm Keane, I beg your pardon, Colm Keane, K-E-A-N-E. And they, they document in it how, um, you know, Therese appeared on the battlefield in World War One, prayed with the fallen, uh, inserted a little white flower into the lapels of those soldiers who had died on the battlefield. She was seen doing this by soldiers um, who couldn't understand uh, for love nor money how this young nun was showing up on the battlefield praying with the fallen and she also prayed with the injured and reassured them that they would recover and it was when they went back home and at some time later different soldiers happened to visit perhaps sisters of theirs who were in convents or just you know they'd gone in looking for prayers before they went off to ward probably uh, they saw images of her um up on the the wall and they said um that's the nun that's the one who showed up and they were surprised um, that her image was up in in um, in an Irish Carmelite convent, and uh, it it was actually Therese of Lisieux, who had died in eighteen ninety seven, who they'd seen on the battlefield. So that was just one of the 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 things associated with Therese before she was be beatified. So she was called the Angel of the Trenches. Actually, um, there was a there was a big cult to her even even then in the First World War. Uh, by um, Irish soldiers and their, their families at home. So um, this is a, a saint, a patroness of the Holy Face, who can show up uh, in extreme circumstances. And I often think um, the loneliest walk must be those who are suicidal to their death. And I, I just pray through her intercession, Lord, that we pray John 10.10. 10. Uh, I came that they would have life and have it to the full, that um, the work of Satan would be undone in the lives of those who are... Um, planning their suicides or walking to their suicides, Lord, through the intercession of this great saint, and that they would know that it is you, Jesus, who have interve has intervened uh, for their deliverance and for their healing from depression and, and the circumstances where there's no way God can make a way that may have brought them to despair. We ask for breakthroughs, Lord, for all people in those circumstances. Um, a very sad case of a little 12-year-old child who was bullied in South Dublin and took his life. And there are more and more of these cases happening. So we just pray against that spirit of suicide, which is a big thing to pray against through the intercession of this great saint. And um, I pray that for especially all, all our young people who are so lost. And, you know, then they're looking up um, stuff online about how to kill themselves, awful stuff. So we just pray protection on them through the little flower. So let's pray her prayer. Sorry to be long winded there, but um, O oh Jesus, who in thy bitter passion did become the most abject of men, a man of sorrows, I venerate thy sacred face whereon there once did shine the beauty and the sweetness of the Godhead. But now it has become for me as if it were the face of a leper. Nevertheless, under those disfigured features, I recognize thy infinite love and I am consumed with the desire to love thee and to make thee loved by all men. The tears which well up abundantly in thy sacred eyes appear to me as so many precious pearls that I love to gather up in order to purchase the souls of poor sinners by means of their infinite value. O Jesus, whose adorable face ravishes my heart, I implore thee to fix deep within me thy divine image and to set me on fire with thy love that I may be found worthy to come to the contemplation of thy glorious face in heaven. Amen. We pray for um, eternal rest. I think the little guy's name was Thaig. I may have the name wrong, but the 12-year-old who took his life. So eternal rest grant unto him and may perpetual light shine upon him. May he rest in peace. God love him. And, um, you know, God forgive the bullies. I, I'm sure they didn't know what they were doing really, but, uh, and the poor family. Um, so we come to the chaplet of the Holy Face and we're now um, stepping it up, stepping it out. And this is uh, spiritual warfare. Um, in the sense that we are making reparation for the breaking of the first three commandments. And I, I honestly believe when we pray the Holy Face prayers that we're contending with those spirits that are involved in the breaking of the first three commandments. So primarily atheism um, and its promotion, idolatry, um, where we put ourselves, someone, something, some activity before God, uh, blasphemy and disrespect for the sacred and um, profaning the Sabbath and the Holy Days. So non-worship or a la carte worship and also um yeah, so maybe uh, receiving Holy Communion unworthily, we come in reparation for all of that. Um, so we're, we're starting now with the chaplet um, 
of the Holy Face. And as I say, we always pray for the Pope and the future of the papacy. So on the crucifix we pray, Eternal Father, I offer you the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ and all the other instruments of his, his holy passion, that you may put division in the camp of your enemies. For as your beloved Son has said, a kingdom divided against itself shall fall. And on the next five beats we pray, may God arise and let his, let his enemies be scattered, and let those that hate him flee before his face. May the thrice holy name of God overthrow all their plans. May the holy name of the living God split them up by disagreements. May the terrible name of the God of eternity stamp out all their godlessness. Lord, we do not desire the death of the sinner, but that he be converted and live. Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. And that applies to us. Father, forgive us, us sinners, um, when we don't know what we're doing or we have a spiritual blindness. Um, so there's always, you know, our, our eternal destiny depends on us, um, who to those who've been given more as expected and, you know, that we would not fall into into Phariseeism on the one hand or into sin on the, on the other um, so we just pray um, for that intention. And um, I'll go ahead with the beautiful um, golden arrow prayer, which is the, the prayer that our Lord gave and which is the perfect antidote to the sin of blasphemy. So may the most holy, most sacred, most adorable, most incomprehensible and unutterable name of God be always praised, blessed, loved, adored and glorified in heaven, on earth and under the earth by all the creatures of God and by the sacred heart of our Lord Jesus Christ and the most holy sacrament of the altar. Amen. And on the 33 beads, we pray Psalm 68 verse 1, which for any newcomers is the line of scripture that that doctor and great saint Athanasius uh, said is the one line of scripture the demons fear most and evil fears most. And it's in the exorcism, right? So we pray 33 times to honour our Lord's ears on earth divided it into five sets of six uh, to honour our Lord's five senses and a final three um, recitations um, for uh, to honour our Lord's public years and his passion, death and resurrection. And in between each set, we pray simply, my Jesus, mercy and a glory be. Um, so let's start. Arise, O Lord, and let your enemies be scattered and let those that hate you flee before your face. Arise, O Lord, and let your enemies be scattered and let those that hate you flee before your face. Arise, O Lord, and let your enemies be scattered and let those that hate you flee before your face. Arise, O Lord, and let your enemies be scattered and let those that hate you flee before your face. Arise, O Lord, and let your enemies be scattered, and let those that hate you flee before your face. Arise, O Lord, and let your enemies be scattered, and let those that hate you flee before your face. My Jesus, mercy, glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Arise, O Lord, and let your enemies be scattered, and let those that hate you flee before your face. Arise, O Lord, and let your enemies be scattered, and let those that hate you flee before your face. Arise, O Lord, and let your enemies be scattered, and let those that hate you flee before your face. Arise, O Lord, and let your enemies be scattered, and let those that hate you flee before your face. Arise, O Lord, and let your enemies be scattered, and let those that hate you flee before your face. Arise, O Lord, and let your enemies be scattered, and let those that hate you flee before your face. My Jesus, mercy. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Arise, O Lord, and let your enemies be scattered, and let those that hate you flee before your face. Arise, O Lord, and let your enemies be scattered, and let those that hate you flee before your face. Arise, O Lord, and let your enemies be scattered, and let those that hate you flee before your face. Arise, O Lord, and let your enemies be scattered, and let those that hate you flee before your face. Arise, O Lord, and let your enemies be scattered, and let, and let those that hate you flee before your face. Arise, O Lord, and let your enemies be scattered, and let those that hate you flee before your face. My Jesus, mercy. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Arise, O Lord, and let your enemies be scattered, and let those that hate you flee before your face. Arise, O Lord, and let your enemies be scattered, and let those that hate you flee before your face. Arise, O Lord, and let your enemies be scattered, and let those that hate you flee before your face. 
Arise, O Lord, and let your enemies be scattered, and let those that hate you flee before your face. Arise, O Lord, and let your enemies be scattered, and let those that hate you flee before your face. Arise, O Lord, and let your enemies be scattered, and let those that hate you flee before your face. My Jesus, mercy. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Arise, O Lord, and let your enemies be scattered, and let those that hate you flee before your face. Arise, O Lord, and let your enemies be scattered, and let those that hate you flee before your face. Arise, O Lord, and let your enemies be scattered, and let those that hate you flee before your face. Arise, O Lord, and let your enemies be scattered, and let those that hate you flee before your face. Arise, O Lord, and let your enemies be scattered, and let those that hate you flee before your face. Arise, O Lord, and let your enemies be scattered, and let those that hate you flee before your face. My Jesus, mercy. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. And the final three, in honour of our Lord's public years, his passion, death and resurrection. Arise, O Lord, and let your enemies be scattered, and let those that hate you flee before your face. Arise, O Lord, and let your enemies be scattered, and let those that hate you flee before your face. Arise, O Lord, and let your enemies be scattered, and let those that hate you flee before your face. My Jesus, mercy. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. In the closing prayers. Eternal Father, I offer you the holy face of Jesus, covered with blood, sweat, dust, and spittle, in reparation for the crimes of communists, blasphemers, and for the profaners of the holy name, and of the holy day of Sunday. Every time my face is contemplated, I will pour out my love into the hearts of those persons, and by means of my holy face, the salvation of many souls will be obtained. And um, we now go to the prayer for the settlement of all our needs, which is on the back of the booklet. Um, and uh, please God, we're revising this booklet um, and uh, hopefully we'll revise it up on the website once that's done. Um, so apologies to anyone who doesn't have this, but it is it is actually um, the top pinned pr uh, prayer. Um, it's the top pinned post, I should say, um, under the top video, always on the Facebook feed. And it's the prayer to obtain the settlement of all our needs. So we pray this now. O Eternal Father, since it has pleased our Divine Saviour to reveal to mankind in our present century the power residing in his holy face, we now avail ourselves of this treasure in our great need. Since our Saviour himself promised that by offering to you, O Eternal Father, the holy face disfigured in the Passion, we can procure the settlement of all the affairs of our households and that nothing whatsoever will, will be refused to us, we now come before your throne. Offering to you, O God, this adorable countenance disfigured with painful bruises and covered with shame and confusion, we beg through the merits of this holy face to obtain these, our most pressing needs. So we're going to have some silence and everything you've posted or the ones that you haven't posted or you know, that are in your heart or they're private, we bring them all to the Lord now. We pray for also for the intentions of those people listening back later. We ask you to please, please pray for our intentions as well, those who are listening back later, because we're united in the mystical body of Christ across towns and cities, counties, countries, time zones, and, and throughout the week. We're united in prayer and we cover our world in prayer throughout the week. So we just take some silence. Okay, so um, grant us pardon, Eternal Father, for the worst crimes of our age, which are atheism, blasphemy, and the desecration of your holy days. Avert from us destruction by war and its consequences, which loom through the malice of revolutionary men who have risen up to stamp out religion from the face of the earth through false indoctrination 
and who now stand ready to impose their wicked designs with militaristic force. May this offering of the holy face of our Saviour before your throne of majesty obtain for us deliverance from these evils. Send us, O God, as zealous and enlightened labourers, by conferring many vocations to the priesthood and to religious orders, so that by their prayers, their works and their sacrifices, they may spread the blessings of your church and confound your enemies. Amen. So that concludes the beautiful holy face prayers. And uh, I think it's important to pray that prayer, uh, especially against war and also for vocations. It ensures that we we um, include that. And especially with what's happened in Nigeria, there have been more attacks on churches in Nigeria, more killings and kidnappings, especially of women and children um, in Nigeria in the past week since the Pentecost attack. Um, and I think the death toll is about 70 now um, uh, from that attack. So there have been multiple attacks, um, uh, an uptick in uh, attacks on Christians in Nigeria. So we continue to pray for Nigeria and that the government will do what it's meant to do, which it's, it's not doing, which is protecting uh, the Christian population. So um, and we also pray for Hong Kong. We pray for um, China in this, the 100th anniversary of the Chinese Communist Party. We pray for um, that China will become, the, I have no problem praying for this, the Chinese that China will become the greatest missionary, um, uh, you know, and Catholic country in the world. What's not to like about that? And they're extraordinary there, the Christians, what, they, what they've been going through and what they've gone through and still go through. There's, you know, a constant tightening of restrictions on their ability to worship and conditions placed on it. Um, so we just continue to pray for that situation there and pray for... Uh, Cardinal Zen, Jimmy Lai, the, the billionaire who could have left, could have left everything and, and gone off with his money, but he stayed and um, I believe he's facing a prison sentence now. And all the unknowns who are in that position as well, uh, we pray for, for all of them. So um, that concludes our Holy Face prayers and I'm just going to give a shout out to some people. I know I've been praying for a bit and not reading out your intentions, so apologies for that. So We'll go and have a look at some of those intentions. So Connie, praying for the protection of all the paternal and maternal families, uh, aunts, uncles, nieces, nephews, cousins, especially cousin Marilyn, Suezo, Lanos, uh, praying for all our extended families, not just our nuclear families, for all joining and their loved ones. That's from Mary E. And um, uh, Effie, for the health of my father. Um, Effie uh, there, thanks for that, Effie. And uh, I'll just try and pull that up again, sorry. Uh, these disappearing messages are irritating, but um, praying for my friend's brother, Andrew Abeta in Colorado, who's suffering from alcohol addiction, deliver him, Lord. And we pray for anyone who's suffering with any kind of addiction um, at all, um, that for their deliverance and that they would get that grace, because it is a grace to be able to do that. Really extraordinary. Matt Talbot is a great um, intercessor for those with addictions. Um, so we pray through his intercession for uh, Andrew. Um, and praying for my financial breakthrough so I can be a blessing to our family and the, for our church and those most financially in need from Connie and for all prisoners, for their peace of mind and their families as well. And for the holy souls in purgatory, uh, those in my family tree, Papa Leonilo, Mama Aleda, Brother Mario, Albert, Jack, and Soledad, Christita, Susanna, Uncle, Wen, Wenifrido, the abandoned and the unborn. And giving thanks to God for my guardian angel, also from Effie. And for all suffering bad depression, anxieties, addiction, especially our brother Tata, deliverance from his drug addiction. Have mercy on them, Lord. Um, so thanks a million for that, Effie and, and Connie. And over here for healing of Emma, that she will be restored to full health following COVID last summer. Um, and Jackie for Charlotte, a friend, a mother of a large family. She has a fragile health and for her family who care for her, for her healing. We'll pray for that for her. And Francesca for Ireland and her people. Thanks a million, Francesca, for her. Um, for us, for Australia, for everyone there and, and the great work and the promotion of the Holy Face that's going on there as well. And Lourdes, we have prayed for you. We prayed for Elizabeth Manning as well. We continue to try to remember to pray for you both every week, Lourdes, but um, we, we continue to pray for you during this rosary as well. And we pray for a miracle of healing for your spine and, and for Elizabeth and all those who are sick, Lord, we're, we're asking uh, for miracles of healing. And uh, for all I pray for and for my son, that's from Francesca. Rosemary Sargent, good morning, everyone. The Lord provides us another beautiful day. Pray for peace in our hearts and in the world. That's lovely, Rosemary. Thank you. And uh, for an end to the spirit of violence on social media leading to knife crimes, 
including murder. And uh, Erlinda, for those who have no one to pray for them and um, praying for an increase of religious vocations and uh, for William and Carol pray praying for Yolanda and Anaya Murillo and Anakasha is with us praying as well. Thanks, Anna. Thank you, Lord, for healing Jackie Shaw and her husband. May you continue sharing your breasts, blessings and graces, guidance and protection on the whole family of Jackie Shaw. That's lovely. Um, Carol Larkin for a desperate couple. Prayers please everyone. So we include them in this in this rosary um, and for intentions spoken and unspoken and miracles for all of us gathered here. Um, I'm just scrolling backwards. Sorry, everyone. Eugene praying with us. I'm Michelle Fenton for his very special intention. And uh, this is a regular intention. Oh, jeepers, it jumped on me, Michelle. Uh, let me see. Can I get it back? Uh, sugar. Can't find it now. Sorry, Michelle. But anyway, we pray for a breakthrough for you, Michelle, in, in that intention. And for my son's current situation. Oh, I think I read that. Thank you. Um, so we're going to go into the rosary of our blessed lady. And I continue to ask for your prayers. Um also for uh, healing and deliverance for me and my family and uh, different situations um, that I, I'm dealing with at the moment. But um, so like uh, we're all going through it and we all um, offer it all to the Lord. We offer any um, joys or sorrows that we're going through to the Lord in thanksgiving and unite them with him, with his cross and resurrection. And we also, um, you know, continue to pray for and claim the healings and um we can't demand really can we you know even though they are promises we we can only claim um in faith um uh, but it's up to god ultimately who he heals and and but yet but yet we 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 do claim the healings cuz um i think it was that um unshakable faith of uh, venerable leo de pont that resulted in all those healings would that we all had his faith but in our own small way collectively and those listening back later we are united and that prayer does ascend to the throne of god and uh you know even the the paralytic was it 37 years the man uh, i'm now i could be completely wrong on this was it 37 years the paralytic was paralyzed that uh jesus healed i think by the pool of siloam um anyway somebody more learned will 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 set me straight but it just shows it's it's it doesn't matter how long standing a problem is um he can heal it um so let's 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 keep praying for that um so we now come into the rosary of our blessed lady and our lady asked for many rosaries she also said that there were souls going to hell because there's no one to pray for them which is um, an eternal tragedy and uh, maybe it's on us if people if i mean without getting too heavy but you know uh we are we are called to, you know, to those who more is given, more is expected. Um, and if we've been given faith, we're expected to intercede uh, for ourselves. You know, the stakes are higher for us if we've been given that that responsibility and that gift um, of prayer and faith. So we pray for um, anyone who's, you know, uh, I suppose at risk, we have to say that. You know, if Our Lady said that, then it's true. So um, we go into prayer and I pray, I pray for... Um, the parish of, of Nina that I'll be talking in tonight in Tipperary that a Holy Face prayer group will start there and we pray blessings on the parish and that the Lord will uh, bring many blessings and, and remove anything that is not of him um, from the parish. Uh, we ask this in Jesus' name and we pray uh, God's protection on us all and that he would saturate us all, our families, our friends, uh, colleagues, our homes, cars, places, possessions and sources of supply in his most precious blood. We ask this in Jesus' holy name. Amen. So uh, thou, Lord, will open my lips and my tongue shall announce thy praise. Incline unto my aid, O God, O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. I believe in God, the Father, the Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father, the Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. For a plenary indulgence for the holy souls, we pray for the Pope and the future of the papacy. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. 
um, for an increase in the virtue of faith. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. For an increase in the virtue of hope. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. For an increase in the virtue of charity. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. So today is Tuesday, and we're going to pray the Sorrowful Mysteries of the Rosary. And we include all your intentions in this, but we keep before us primarily reparation for the breaking of the first three commandments in our own lives, atheism, idolatry, blasphemy, the abuse of the holy name, but also disrespect for the sacred, however that may manifest, um, including our church, her institutions, her people. Um, and the sacraments, and then also profaning the Sabbath and the holy days, so non-worship, a la carte worship, uh, neglectful, forgetful reception of Holy Communion or outright sacrilegious Holy Communions. We come in reparation for that and um, ask God's mercy. And we also uh, pray for increased belief in the real presence in the most blessed sacrament of the altar um, uh, and for more and more adoration. Um, I'd like to always pray also for our seminaries, monasteries and um, houses of formation, convents, whatever, uh, wherever there are vocations being nurtured, that they would be uh, formed according to what our Lord and Our Lady wants. Um, I'd like to pray for uh, our National Seminary, Maynooth, and pray for more um, vocations to the priesthood and to religious life, and also to marriage um, and to, you know, single lay apostleship, in whatever way the Lord um, is bringing that about in people's lives. The Holy Spirit does something new very uh, all the time. So um, we just ask for that and for um, the breath of the Holy Spirit to pour out over all our countries and especially Ukraine and Russia. Um, and there may be bigger agendas operating there than even what we can see. Uh, certainly supernaturally, you can be sure of that. But even uh, in the natural, as, as, as some people would describe it in our world, um, that there are agendas we can't even fathom, but God has it all. Um, so we bring it all um, to Our Lady, she who crushes the head of Satan. And I continue to pray for this parish that um, that there will be a breakthrough, you know, in the praying of the rosary, in the praying of the holy face prayers in the parish. We ask this um, and praying for protection and blessing on the priests of the parish as well. So um, the first sorrowful mystery is the agony in the garden. In this mystery, Lord, we offer all the um, mental sufferings in our lives, past, present and future, in union with the suffering of Jesus, suffering in the garden, um, agony uh, for love out of, e out of each, for out of love for each one of us, excuse me, a bit tired. So um, great anguish, um, his sweat fell like great drops of blood to the ground. Um, an angel from heaven came to give him strength, such was his loneliness uh, and isolation. And uh, the horror that lay before him, he had to accept that, drink the cup. And he did. And the saints say what he did for all he would have done for just one, that he would have actually become incarnate in the womb of the Virgin if there was nobody else to uh, save or nobody else alive but me or you. Um, and it's it's that personal. And if we could get that from our heads into our hearts, we pray for that intention as well. And uh, as I say, we offer all that mental suffering with the suffering of Jesus in Gethsemane in reparation, especially for the breaking of the first three commandments, but all the commandments, but especially the first three literally or in the spirit of them in our own lives, our loved ones, our countries. And um, we pray um, for uh, an end to the culture of death. Uh, we pray for the protection of the justices. Somebody mentioned that earlier. Um, I saw that there was somebody who had an intention, uh, a dodgy intention, nefarious intention in relation to Chief Justice Kavanaugh in the States. So we pray for their protection, that they'll be able to operate in liberty um, in, in what they're doing. And uh, we pray um, for an end to abortion. We pray for all those who've been hurt by abortion, for their healing and um, deliverance, and that they would be able to um, be able to continue their lives and not be um, lost in, in guilt or shame or anything 
like that, um, that they would be able to reconcile with God and their babies and become, whether public or privately, great witnesses um, to the power of Jesus and his mercy. Um, and it's just simply there, but for the grace, um, different people have different sins. Uh, but we do pray for an end. There's been over a billion abortions, I believe, uh, worldwide since it was legalized um, after the Bolshevik Revolution. So Our Lady had warned Russia would spread its errors and the Russian constitution was changed to allow abortion. And there have been over a billion abortions since then. So we pray for all those babies, those lost souls, that they would be with God. Um, and that uh, we pray for their parents, that they got the grace to reconcile with God uh, if, they've, if they've passed before they died and uh, and if they're alive that they will still have that grace in Jesus' name so this is the first sorrowful mystery the agony in the garden our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil amen hail mary full of grace the lord is with thee Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh, my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those who are most in need of thy mercy. <coughs> Excuse me. Stay here and keep watch with me. Watch and pray, watch and pray. And the second sorrowful mystery is the scourging at the pillar. And in this mystery, Lord, we offer all the physical sufferings in our lives, past, present and future, in union with the suffering of Jesus being scourged at the pillar out of love for each one of us. And we um, offer this in reparation for the breaking of the first three commandments in particular, um, literally or in the spirit of them, in our own lives, our loved ones, our countries, and especially as well for in reparation for the um, spirit of impurity. Um, and so we've come in reparation for all um, sins of impurity or lust. We pray for chastity, whatever our state in life. Um, we pray in reparation for all the kind of ways that impurity plays out in our culture. So the whole porn industry, um, the the sexualization of kids, um, kind of radical agendas being uh, pushed uh, on even little ones. Um, we come in reparation for all of that. Um, and um, I just want to pray for, um, it, it is uh, said to be Pride Month. It's also the month of the Sacred Heart of Jesus. But this 
Pride Month of June, I want to pray for all um, our brothers and sisters um, in Christ who are gay, who have same-sex attraction and sexual um, orientation in that regard, um, all in the LGBTQ community. And I want to pray that whatever the spirit of the world uh, is saying to them, in the same way that we have the same encounter ourselves with the spirit of the world, but perhaps in a different way, I'm going to pray that the Holy Spirit um, enlighten and illuminate and guard and protect them and bring them into the life again. John 10, 10. Um, Jesus, I came that they would have life and have it to the full, whatever his plan is, his perfect plan is for each of um, the those in the in the gay community. And we pray for our church to be able to um, articulate the um, the teaching of millennia with love. Um, I think Edith Stein said that, uh, you know, truth without love and love without truth um you know that it, it it fails and so that we would be able to have the giftedness to be able to our, our leaders and and lay people um to be able to uh, embrace our brothers and sisters in truth in love um with church teaching and having said that we pray for the protection of um marriage and for all marriages that are broken um, we pray for sacramental marriage and the protection of sacramental marriage in our church. And I am aware of the German church calling for massive changes. And we just pray for that, um, what they call hermeneutic of continuity, that, that, um, that there would be no rupture in the continuity of, of our church teachings uh, in any area, um, but that we would still be able to be a prophetic church that would reach out to people no matter where they're at. Um, recognizing that everything is a grace and they're a but for the grace. So um, I just want to pray in this month of the Sacred Heart that uh, people will fall in love with Jesus. Um, I include myself in that um, and all of us that we would um, fall more and more deeply in love with him and have him first in our lives um, and uh, that we would be able to, um, you know, witness to the gospel and uh, that may that may mean sacrifice or if necessary with our lives um and they sound like brave words i don't know if i'll be able to live up to that myself but i pray for the grace um so this is the second sorrowful mystery it's the scourging at the pillar our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil amen hail mary full of grace the lord is with thee blessed art thou amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now to the hour of our death amen hail mary full of grace the lord is with thee blessed art thou amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb jesus Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. 
our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those who are most in need of thy mercy. Stay here and keep watch with me. Watch and pray. Watch and pray. Sorry, my voice is still croaky. Um, so um, just on that note um, that I was discussing um, about the whole LGBT side of things um if anybody wants to look um I, and it's probably on youtube there is a documentary called some of you may have seen it already the um desire of the everlasting hills and um it, i think ewtn produced it but basically i understand it's um i i watched it it's very moving um about three um gay people who basically um were in the gay lifestyle for a long time and um, they basically had encounters with Christ, um, sometimes miraculous, actually quite extraordinary stuff. Um, very interesting. And, um, just even from a human interest point of view, it's interesting. Um, but it's really well done. It's a really, um, moving documentary and it, it really challenges, I think, both sides of the debate because it challenged me because I actually had a realization of the level of suffering that they had gone through, um, the three people and I presume others no doubt, um, uh, who were in that lifestyle and what they went through in the struggle with it and coming out of it, actually. Um, and they're now um, active in their, their local churches. And they so they have this contentment and peace, but they still have this struggle. And, and just, you know, there's a something heroic about that, um, I think, personally. But um, and, you know, trying to stay faithful um and the, the loneliness of it so it's a beautiful um documentary to watch or to tell others about uh, the desire of the everlasting hills i think you can get it on youtube if you want to have a look anyone um so um we move on to the third sorrowful mystery and this is the crowning with thorns and um in this mystery lord we offer all the moral sufferings in our lives past present and future in union with the suffering of you jesus being crowned with thorns out of love for each one of us we know that the thorns were about two to four inches in length. Um, the Shroud of Turin image um, shows a, a cap more than a crown of thorns with um, berries and flowers. Um, uh, and that would have been a, a particular plant that grows in the Holy Land where the thorns grow with berries and flowers and they are two to four inches in length. The thorns super strong and lethal. Uh, well, you not not necessarily literally lethal but you know what i'm saying super sharp and very strong and so these were pressed into our lord's head during the crowning with thorns and all the mockery that he went through um and the um you know the the sham trial um the hatred and the i suppose the the turnaround from you know the triumphal entrance into jerusalem and then this um the mockery at herod's all of that um the travesty of ju you know justice um so we pray uh, in this mystery lord we offer all the moral sufferings in our lives past present and future so all of that all the humiliations and the uh, betrayals or um detraction slander bullying you name it abandonment rejection hurts whatever slights insults you name it um we offer it all in union with the suffering of Jesus being crowned with thorns out of love for each one of us. Um, and we offer it also in any ways that we may have offended and people may not do things consciously at all, even though, even if it looks it. Uh, we also pray for the grace to not judge. Um, we can't judge the hearts um, sometimes, even if it looks bad. And um, I mean, that's something that I've come across in my own life where afterwards I've been convicted that despite how something looked, um, it was in God's plan or what, you know, um, so we come in reparation for all the ways we've judged or misjudged, but also, um, I suppose for, for the ways people have done it to us and, you know, maybe slandered and abused us, whatever as well in reverse. Um, so we pray for reconciliation, a true and healthy reconciliation, not, not, not for people to put themselves at risk in, in toxic or dangerous situations, but, and um, we pray for all victims of, um, 
you know, um, uh, I suppose uh, domestic abuse and, and violence and fallout um, from that. Um, and we pray uh, for all victims of violence throughout the world. We think again of the war in Ukraine, our poor country devastated with the different agendas operating. And we pray for an end, a cessation of, of hostilities, that whatever is blocking that would be purged and removed. We ask this in Jesus' name, um, no matter where the agenda is coming from. Um, so on all sides. So we pray for that, Lord, and that will not escalate into a third third world war, which you know, um, sometimes you read these prophecies and they're they're pretty dire. So anyway, we, we um, commend that prayer to the Lord. Um, and we also pray in our own lives for reconciliations where possible um, with people, um, that we will take the necessary steps, if possible, um, to achieve that. And we know our Lord wants that. Um, so blessed are the peacemakers. So we pray for that um, and for that grace. Um, and for all uh, persecuted Christians um, and for all prisoners, not just prisoners of conscience, but all prisoners. I think Connie was praying for that earlier, for peace in their hearts. The greatest conversions um, of hearts um, ha can happen in, in prisons. They may be in a much better place with God than the rest of us, for all I know. Um, you know, so again, we, we just bring it all to the Lord in this third sorrowful mystery, the crowning with horns. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, I pray for us sinners now and to the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, I pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, I pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Uh, sorry, glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those most in need of thy mercy. Stay here, and keep watch with me. Watch and pray. Watch and pray. Um, so apologies for the voice, it's still ropey. <laughs> um, two months after COVID, it's still ropey. But anyway, um, sure, we'll, we'll plod on. Um, but we come to the fourth sorrowful mystery. The fourth sorrowful mystery is the carrying of the cross. And um, in this mystery, Lord, we offer all the crosses of our lives, past, present and future in union with the suffering of Jesus, ascending the hill of Calvary out of love for each one of us. 
um, we offer it um, in Thanksgiving um, that, you know, our Lord kept putting one foot in front of the other effectively um, in that atmosphere of dire hatred towards him. And we th in Thanksgiving for the the little gestures of um, charity that came from different people. So, you know, obviously Our Lady, um, I suppose it's debatable, but um, I'm sure Simon of Serene, if he didn't start off willingly, um, he was a, he was profoundly affected, no doubt, afterwards. Um, and and um, St. Veronica, of course, um, whom our Lord in the revelations to the mystic sister Maria of St. Peter, who he gave the um, holy face prayers to, um, spoke very fondly of St. Veronica and um, told Sister Maria of St. Peter that St. Veronica is uh, not surprisingly a, a, a patroness of the Holy Face. Um, uh, right back at the very beginning on the Hill of Calvary is, is the first patroness of the Holy Face when she consoled Jesus with the only little gesture available to her by wiping his face with her veil. You know, I think our Lord said if you give even a cup of water in, you know, in his name for him that you know it's not a small thing it's done with love and that's the little way of saint therese as well but um veronica took great courage and took great compassion she couldn't have known about the resurrection she didn't have that knowledge but um she could have been at best ostracized or at worst actually lynched given the levels of hatred you know uh, mobs are unpredictable and uh, there was mob rule um, hatred of, despite the soldiers um, in, in their hatred towards Jesus so um, just in thanksgiving for that great witness of Veronica and our Lord asked for defenders of his holy name people who would stand for his holy name and defend him um, which does not mean going um, you know gung-ho um, against people but um, praying to the Holy Spirit and um, you know making some gesture to defend our Lord's holy name. It could be saying praise his holy name, bless his holy name, or saying a prayer and then asking somebody privately, perhaps, uh, not to abuse the holy name, or if necessary, publicly. Um, that takes courage. But um, anyway, we pray for um, Veronica's courage. And we think of persecuted Christians in Nigeria, as I say, um, the poor people in, is it Ondo province, where the uh, massacre took place? And there have been uh, two other churches attacked, a uh, Catholic and a Baptist church in the northern province, uh, Kaduna, uh, since then. And um, I think about 33 people killed and I think about 30 mainly women and children kidnapped. So this is ongoing. Uh, it seems to be getting worse. And we just pray for Buhari's government there to actually... Um, either deal with it or be dealt with. I'm, I'm sorry, I know I sound harsh, but it's gone on too long. There are 60,000 Christians um, who've been killed over the last 10 years in Nigeria, about 6,000 a year um, targeted. And even if climate's involved, um, you know, why are they being asked, for example, to do the conversion prayer, for example, sometimes? Um, and they know when they're going into a church, opening a fire and setting off bombs, what religion they're killing. Um, so... You know, I'm just going to ask God for his intervention in, in Nigeria um, for the people who are being martyred daily and for priests. Priests have been kidnapped, gruesomely killed. Um, it's an ongoing um, phenomenon there of priests being kidnapped and killed um, as well. So, yeah, so we just pray for that great country and for anywhere where there's a persecution happening for the truth, not necessarily for Christianity, but for the truth. It could be um, you, somewhere where there's corruption of the truth in the church. Um, and it could be someone who's irreligious uh, is pointing it out, whatever God will use anyone. So um, we we bring that all into the fourth sorrowful mystery, the carrying of the cross. Um, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. 
Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of, fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, as now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. My Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those who are most in need of thy mercy. <coughs> Stay here and keep watch with me. Watch and pray. Watch and pray. And the fifth sorrowful mystery is the crucifixion. And in this mystery, Lord, we bring ourselves uh, to contemplate you agony, in agony, agonizing on the cross um, at the site of the crucifixion with Our Lady, with St. John the Evangelist, the beloved disciple, with Mary Magdalene and the women. And again, in the middle of that um, atmosphere of diabolical, palpable hatred and evil, great evil and oppression, um, cataclysmic, you know, uh, battle, um, where they did everything they could to him um, and he still offered it all for each one of us. So we come in thanksgiving, Lord, for that offering of that life offering and self offering of yourself from the moment of conception, the word, the eternal word uh, was made flesh, touched earth, pitched his tent amongst us uh, for our salvation, like us in all things but sin, tempted and like us in all things but sin. So we come in thanksgiving for our great and glorious Saviour, hanging on the cross, our Redeemer. Um, thank you, Lord Jesus, for everything you've done for us. So we praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, Lord Jesus. And we glorify you in every living host that ever was or will be. And we come in reparation for all abuse of the most blessed sacrament, which is you, Lord. Fully human, fully divine, body, blood, soul and divinity, truly present in every living host. So um, so we offer this for belief in the real presence, for more uh, respect for the real presence, for more adoration of the most blessed sacrament in, in our own lives, our loved ones and in our countries. Um, and we come in reparation for all sacrilege or unworthy or unholy or neglectful holy communions. communions. Um, we offer this for all the holy souls in purgatory, uh, for the most abandoned souls, uh, the souls who have no one to pray for them. We offer this for the breaking of anything at all um, in the family tree or anything afflicting us now, um, including any um, anything diabolical, any curses or hexes or anything at all uh, that is unholy, any unholy sendings that have been sent against us, that through our prayers and our intercession, Lord, that it would be broken and broken in this generation, that future generations would not be afflicted with whatever that may be, be it spiritual, be it uh, mental, be it physical, that it would end in this generation. And we pray as also, um, they say nine tenths of, of sexual abuse happens in the home, but then we have the 
um, the scandal of what happened in our church. Um, so we pray for whatever that spirit of pedophilia is or whatever that phenomenon is, that uh, it would end, Lord, once and for all. And any child that is at risk anywhere, that God would get send good people um, to uh, deliver um, them or any trafficked um, or abused people. Um, so we ask this in your name, Lord. You were so abused. Uh, you have a heart uh, that understands um, trauma and what, what, what that horror can be for people. So we just pray um, that only the outpouring of the Holy Spirit, um, either in the gentle breeze, like with Elijah, or sometimes in a dramatic fashion. I've, I've, I've heard of stories of people who've been extraordinarily healed from very deep traumas. So we pray that a blessing on anyone who is in that situation, Lord and the healing of memories um, we ask this and an ability to forgive even um, for our own sakes um, so we ask this in your name lord jesus amen um, this is the fifth sorrowful mystery father forgive them for they know not what they do we pray for our enemies and their conversion those who are enemies of christ and who don't know him um, this is the fifth sorrowful mystery our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. <coughs> Beg your pardon. <coughs> Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those most in need of thy mercy. Excuse me. Stay here and keep watch with me. Watch. Oh, my voice is gone. Sorry, everyone. <coughs> I'll, I'll just leave it, actually. Sorry, I'm coughing. Um, so hail Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy, hail our life, <coughs> our sweetness and our hope. To thee do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To thee do we stand up our sighs, mourning and weeping, in this valley of tears. Turn then, a most gracious advocate, thine eyes of mercy towards us, and after this our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Excuse me. 
Let us pray, O God, whose only begotten Son, by his life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal salvation. Grant, we beseech you, that meditating upon these mysteries in the most holy rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise, through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. And may the divine assistance remain always with us. And may the souls of all the faithful departed, through the mercy of God, rest in peace. Amen. Excuse me. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in the hour of conflict. Be our safeguard against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God restrain him, we humbly pray. And do thou, o Prince of the heavenly hosts, by the power of God, thrust Satan into hell and with him all the evil spirits that wander through the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. With all, with all the guardian angels we pray, O angels of God, our guardians dear, to whom God's love commits us here, ever this day be at our sides, to light, to guard, to rule and to guide. Amen. So, um, we're coming towards the end of this prayer meeting and we're, we finish with the three memoraries as we do every week. I'll just give a, a quick shout out to some people here. Um, so, praying to our Blessed Virgin Mother for her maternal intercession to our families for our protection, guidance, provision of our temporal and spiritual needs in this, these uncertain times and for the 20th anniversary of the priesthood of Father Robert McPherson on the 22nd of June now in St. Thomas Aquinas Seminary, Dalwyn, Virginia, USA for the perseverance of his priestly vocation. Amen. And uh, uh, Am Amzivich, uh, Facebook Live ended before the fourth mystery. That's weird um, because um, not from where I am it's still live, um, so I don't know how that happened. Sorry about that. Uh, I didn't notice anything. Um, I was I was looking at the screen and I didn't see anything. So, um, so uh, Bob Ward, lovely to have you with us. Um, Erlinda, uh, praying uh, also for Catalina Ramos, a U.S. Grace Force. Uh, she's on fire, I think that says, is it? Uh, with her faith, her Facebook and Instagram tells us she needs prayers for her heart and health. Um, so that's Catalina Ramos. Um, we pray for her and Patricia Watson praying for an end to child sex abuse and child and human trafficking in Jesus' mighty name. Amen to that, Patricia, big time. Um, glory sing, glory be. Um, and I'm just going backwards here. Sorry, everyone. Uh, apologies uh, for Patricia Watson and Patricia praying for Larry. Um, praying for those incarcerated. This is from Larry, especially Helen in Christ Jesus' name. Amen. And um, let me see. Um, sorry, everyone. Uh, for Bo uh, Garber, um, who needs, um, sorry, for Bo Garber's needs and special intentions, may the Lord fill his heart with peace and joy in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. And Pedro, uh, Lord, Lord Inha, saying amen three times. Thanks, Pedro. Um, and let's uh, go back for the spread of this devotion in our parishes. That's from Jackie. Amen. And that our, our oh, sugar jumped. Sorry, Jackie. Uh, for Charlotte, a friend, mother of a large family. I think I read that, didn't I? And um, sorry, I'll just scroll down a bit. For all who are sick, especially from COVID, cancer and all chronic illnesses, that they would be granted healing if it's your will, Lord. And Lord, as we've prayed for you, um, and uh, uh, and if it's not your will, Lord, that those who are sick uh, be healed, that they would be able to offer their sufferings for the repar reparation of souls. And we do believe... Um, that it will bring great glory in the next life but nonetheless we, we pray for those miracles um and uh, let me just see is there anything else prayers uh blessings and prayers answered from australia and uh for the intentions of jackie shaw and margaret brownhill please grant miracles for their intentions and for those who've no one to pray for them okay so um uh, we just go now to the final memor memoraries, the three memoraries that we offer every week. Um, and we offer this um, usually for three intentions, for deliverance of protection from a spirit of Freemasonry in our own lives and our loved ones in our countries. Um, and we pray for protection and deliverance um, of especially our young people, but all people from a fascination with evil or getting involved with evil in either front door or back door in different ways. And that includes... Um, uh, new age and occult practices um, very often um, it's called the new age deceit because people don't realise that it actually is occult uh, because they may get some benefit uh, in the short term but it opens a window um, and people can experience great chaos in their lives and I know people who've 
messed with Ouija boards and um, <clears throat> it's it's no joke. And so uh, we just pray for protection um, and deliverance of all of us. And then I just always pray for Ireland and I pray for uh, the raising up of a leader, however unlikely, who will steer us out of the kind of um, mess and tra trajectory that we've, we've got ourselves into. Um, as a country, um, I'll just ask this in Jesus' name. So the three memoraries, remember, O most gracious Virgin Mary, that never was it known that anyone who fled to your protection, implored your help or sought your intercession was left unaided. Inspired with this confidence, we fly unto thee, O Virgin of virgins, our mother. To thee do we come, before thee we kneel, sinful and sorrowful. O Mother of the Word incarnate, despise not our petitions, but in thy clemency hear and answer them. Amen. Remember, O most gracious Virgin Mary, that never was it known that anyone who fled to your protection, implored your help, or sought your intercession was left unaided. Inspired with this confidence, we fly unto thee, O Virgin of Virgins, our Mother. To thee do we come, before thee we kneel, sinful and sorrowful. O Mother of the Word incarnate, despise not our petitions, but in thy clemency hear and answer them. Amen. Remember, O most gracious Virgin Mary, that never was it known that anyone who fled to your protection, implored your help, or sought your intercession was left unaided. Inspired with this confidence, we fly unto thee, O Virgin of Virgins, our Mother. To thee do we come, before thee we kneel, sinful and sorrowful. O Mother of the Word incarnate, despise not our petitions, but in thy clemency. Hear and answer them. Amen. So my thanks to everyone for praying with me and um, for your faithfulness every week. Um, it's much appreciated. It's very important that we pray these prayers, I think, every week. And um, my thanks to everyone listening back. Um, we pray for your intentions. Those listening later, please pray. Please pray for ours. And uh, we offer these prayers um, now, um, giving glory to God. We finish glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. My thanks to you all um, very much. If you happen to be um, uh, free later, around half seven Irish time, you can make the adjustment wherever you are in the world. Please throw a few prayers in my direction uh, for your healing and deliverance and that the the talk will, will achieve what God wants it to for the, the parish. Uh, much uh, appreciated. God bless you all. Um, take care, everyone. Bye-bye.